Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. You got to check it out. This is uh, part two of my soldering station build. Uh, I'm using this cabinet here and as this cubby hole, pull out tray. So I've done a couple of things to it. I thought I'd show you. I got the fan in. That's the biggie. And it works great. So what I did is I also put a board right here so that when I pull this out, that gives me a place to have things setting. Because I think maybe this is probably where my soldering station is going to sit. I'm still looking at a bunch of different ones, but I think I'm honing in on the Ryobi and just use that one for a multitude of reasons. And the price is reasonable. So once I get that, then I'll decide whether I want to put it in one of these two drawers or on top of here. Also, I can build some little drawers on here or open cubbies in here. So this is actually very flexible. And since I didn't put the fan in here, I have all this area behind here that I can use. And not only that, here, let's give you a better look. Check it out. I, I forgot I had this, but this is basically a light on a little switch, just like a wall switch. And it's magnetic, so I can have it hanging right here, and I get some nice light from it all the way out to here where I'm working. Or I can just put it up there. And get some really nice light out this way. So I think I'm going to like having that. It's going to be a handier light than these are. So I'm going to keep that right here. And see how well it works. But I think that's going to work real well. It's just an LED. Runs on three AAA. So I suspect it will last a long time. On three, uh, triple, uh, three AAAs. So <coughs> if it turns out to be much a long time. Then I'll push to get a light, but otherwise I'm just kind of looking for a light, but I'm not pushing it. I put a second a thing here also so that I can have uh, power on this side as well as that side. And when I want to use the fan, I can just take and just plug it into this power outlet right here. And it actually pulls pretty good. Let me prove it. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna start a fire, huh? How's that for it being cool, huh? So, we'll just put it out here. And if we wait a moment, it should start giving off some smoke. Ooh, there goes the fire. So. But if I turn this on, watch what happens to the flame. See how whoop, it goes over? It's sucking there like crazy. And once this thing starts smoking, you'll see everything, all the smoke and everything will be coming right from that paper right through here. So I took that squirrel cage I had and mounted it on the outside right here. And I'll show that to you in a second. And I have an outlet hose that I put on it temporarily because you're going to make fun of it when I show it to you, but I just used a shop vac hose and I had a section of it. Oh, now we're getting some smoke. I don't know if you can see that or not. So. So now you can see it's all... I don't know if you can see that. It's all coming over here, either in the back, and then it's sucking. And everything's coming in. Nothing's coming out. So it seems to be doing a pretty good job. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. I can see the smoke. I don't know if you can see all that smoke or not, but it's all going right up the tube here. So I think that this is going to work quite well. But also, what I can't do, I'll let that finish burning. <laughs> What I also can do is I just took a quick hose here that I have a section of it, and it actually fits in there. That's inch and a half PVC pipe that goes through the wall and butts up to the side of the uh, <coughs> blower. And so all the air is actually going in here through the PVC tube. And I hot glued it in. So now my air is here instead. And boy, it's really drawing it in. So I can have a little attachment here if I want on a magnet or something so that I can actually use this. Maybe you can see that a little better now, all that. 
when I had this on there, some of it was going around the back, but now everything is clearing out and everything is going right up there. So this thing is actually working pretty good. I don't know how bad it sounds to you, but it's not bad at all for the sound. So I'll be able to live with that. And this thing will... Okay, I think we're done with the fire. Time to put it out. Stop playing. Come on. So, I think that's out. Anyway, but I can put a hose on it, or I can just stick something on here with a little dust to it right here to bring it over to the center if I want. Uh, that will just sit right here for when I want to use it and get a real good hood on behind it. So that this has good possibilities right now. It seems like it does a great job just by here. So I can't complain, and the light gives me lots and lots of light here. So uh, I can't think of anything else that I've actually changed here. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to pop you loose here, and let's go over here and take a quick look at... Uh, come on. There we go. Get that wire out of the way. And let's just go right over here, and I'll just show you this real quick for a second. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we're on the side of it now, and you can see the blower motor here. And just four bolts, the whole plate right straight up against the side of this thing. And I just lined it up to the hole that I drilled to, with the PVC pipe. That's the inlet. And this is the outlet. And so what I had to do was, I want to put a two inch PVC pipe on here with a T connector and get a jar on the bottom so anything comes through this that's heavy it'll fall into the jar and this is going to go straight up and over out the back because I have a fan if you look uh, let's see if I oh right there that's my fan and that thing really does a good job of cleaning everything out of the shop air wise it filters that's one that I built a long time ago <clears throat> So, but once I get the PVC pipe on here, then I can take this shop back hose off. Trouble is, I have to make a trip to do that. And I don't think it's worth going out for that. So, but it'll wait. This is working fine. And it has the air coming out right up there so that I'll be able to have it suck right into that other vent, into that fan. So, it filters every doubt. This should work very well. It really does suck very, very well. So, I'm really happy with the fan. <clears throat> I think that the whole thing is coming along nicely. I actually can start using it with the way it is now. I have this all set up with that thing. So when I pull it out all the way, I have this little tool tray here that I can put things on. And this stuff that I have up here stays put. Or if I need to, I can bring it out halfway, turn that around. And now it's halfway so that nothing falls down behind. And so this is the this is probably the setup I would use most of the time while I'm here. I don't know what you think. I still got lots of things I want to do. I'm getting ready to start. I'm going to bring my Dremel over here and uh, get it all hooked up so that maybe I can start doing that stuff here. Also, after I build some cubby holes back here and some drawers maybe, uh, I'm going to put a piece of cloth that magnets to the top, magnetic, and goes to the top and hangs down so that if I'm doing something that's really sawdusty, hopefully this will collect a lot of it, but this will have a curtain here so that all that sawdust won't get back in the back into these cubby holes. So I'll have some kind of little curtain here probably that will either fold up or I can just pull out and set up there real quick, roll it up and throw it in the drawer uh, to help control any sawdust in there. So that's the whole plan. Um, it, so far, so good. If you have any ideas or suggestions of where this is once where this thing is going, I'd love to hear them. So, yeah, in the meantime, if you learned something here, or you like this video, hit that like button. Hopefully, I rambled on enough to drive some people crazy. But most importantly, though, if you would come back again because I'm nowhere near done, and don't forget to leave good suggestions for me. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.